arresting everybody at the border regardless. If they go across the border, walk across, and arresting them all is in violation of international refugee treaties that the United States is a signature to. We need to have it somewhat secured. That you can't just have people running across all the time. There should be, and then you know, even uh, drugs and other things like that, and weapons and all those other contraband and stuff. There has to be some uh, sense of a border. So call it ICE, call it Immigration America, call it whatever you want to call it. I. I don't believe that it should be abolished. I believe it should be controlled. I know they, there are people advocating for a physical wall. That is not the best way to spend our money to regulate our border. So a path to citizenship is the only realistic way. I have not gone in deep into what ails ICE. I can see why people are wanting to abolish it because the the public facing part of ICE, the, the news reports coming out are absolutely inhumane and unacceptable. First of all, we do have the dreamers. You know, these are people who came to the United States as children, they were minors, and now they have shown that they are law abiding, hard working residents of the United States. So clearly they need a pathway to citizenship. The next is the 11 million people who came here as adults. They are also a, have become an integral part of our economy and our communities. So we need a pathway to legal residence for them. In regards to you know, the ICE itself, it has to do with are we operating under the rule of law? <laughs>